Hello. So I've done a little bit in my kitchen, but I haven't quite shown you the wrap up. Today's video will be in two parts. First is before and after, and the second one is about the tools that I found useful for amateur like me. I hope you will find some tools that are useful for your project as well. And I put, like always, I put all the, the links of these tools in the description so you can check easily. Circular saw by Ryobi. I say Ryobi in Japanese way. It's called Ryobi in here or in the US because I think some people find it hard to pronounce Ryobi, so they change their name to adapt to English way Ryobi. But in Japan it's called Ryobi. So if you go to Japan and ask about the Ryobi tool, nobody would understand Ryobi. Just in case. The same as Mazda. Uh, it's called Mazda in Japanese, but it's Mazda in English, right? Ah, yeah, I was talking about uh, Sakura. So this is very versatile too. And also having a, a battery here uh, without plugging into the mains. So you can bring it to anywhere. Like I use in the garden, in inside of a house as well quite useful plastic on put the button here and just this you can change the degree so you can cut in 45 degree to make a mitre cut as accurate as table saw or mitre saw but for the amateur like me this is good enough more than good enough and also you can buy like more expensive high-end tools from Devote or um, Makita another Japanese company but Ryobi is good enough more than good enough when cutting the straight lines this Another tool, a guide. I improvise myself. Uh, this was very useful too. It just uh, used the leftover bits from the old units. I put a piece of wood, attach the the rail from between the you you put the uh, this rail between the, the carpet and the door, right? You you recognize the shape, right? I put this upside down, drilled, screwed. And I attached uh, all the unit's handle, door handle, so that I can easily maneuver this. So, I put this on the surface that I want to cut. Press that, clip, clamp. This is the exact width, so that I can just slide this in line with this aluminium rail so I don't have to worry too much about going to the slightly right to the left because it's already fixed this is another Ryobi angle grinder uh, it's this battery it's quite <laughs> dust is fine it's quite <coughs> it's quite useful I used a lot. 
I have another angle grinder from Vivo that cost me less than 20 pounds, 1995 or something like that. And then I used this BOB one to file woods and another one from Vivo to cut the tiles and also cut the pipes or so some steel stuff, metal stuff, so that I didn't have to change the display. Another must have for me was this laser level. Laser leveler. Switch down like that uh, yeah, probably better to like that one. Because I'm moving and it doesn't stop. But if it if it finds the, the perfect level position, it stops. Yeah? So you just mark that line on the wall and then use that as an indicator to when installing the units. And another good tool, traditional spirit level. I bought this one because I had actually another one in the beginning from a pound shop. I had to chuck that away in the bin and bought this proper one. I think about this precision work, you need to have a proper tool like this spirit level and also this This kind of carpenter too, then it gives you a perfect 90 degree line. So when you make your line, you use this and then you have perfect 90 degree line here. You just pencil it and mark it. Yes, this one is a stud and a voltage detector. I also used the magnet to find out um, screws on the wall. I use magnet to find where the exact the screws are. And finally, these are the, the tools, some of the tools I found useful. And then finally, this is the ones I found useless. I bought this one from pound shop. It just wasted my time and effort and money apart. Look, I can feel a bit and then it's tear. It's tearing off myself. So I don't know where to where is the end anymore. Okay, so that's it for the DIY kitchen. In the next video I will cook again. So see you next time. Bye.